But when it comes to playing hockey in Europe, um, a lot of guys from North America, after they've played over there for a while, um, you know, they want to come over here and see what it's all about. Um, I love the European culture, the lifestyle over here, um, and the hockey's been good. So uh, last year I was in Finland. Um, it was a cool experience, but uh, I'm definitely enjoying Austria a little bit more. I mean, I, I was lucky enough on our break to go to Oberton for a few days and hang out in the mountain. Uh, I grew up skiing, so um, I've, I've always loved to go to the mountain. Um, I couldn't do it a whole lot when I was playing in the NHL just because of the schedule, and um, they pretty much don't, you don't have the time to do it. So um, it was beautiful in that aspect. Um, the people are nice. They, they enjoy drinking beer and uh, hanging out. Uh, they, I know they love skiing. And, uh, when you're in Europe, it's definitely harder to communicate with your friends and family. And to be honest with you, that's probably the biggest downfall to playing over here, or the hardest thing, I guess, to playing over here is with the time change and just being so far from home. Um, it's tough to stay in touch with your family and friends, but uh, with my nephew, I, uh, I FaceTime with him probably once a week. He loves it. He loves looking, looking at himself on the phone, so it's pretty cool. But uh, for my buddies and stuff, just text messaging. And, uh, I know they'll be there when I get back. They haven't changed in 15 years, so they're not going to change in six months, you know. I have, a, I have a weekly radio show that I do. Uh, it's based out of Vancouver. Um, so I'm trying to keep, a I'm trying to keep a, an eye on the NHL and the Vancouver Canucks. And um, obviously with Twitter now and <clears throat> all the stuff on social media, it's a lot easier than it would have been probably you know, 10 years ago. But uh, I keep an eye on Vancouver for sure. Uh, and just some of my buddies that are still in the NHL. Um, but I, I never get to watch games or anything like that, but just highlights. Uh, we have highlights in the morning in the dressing room and stuff like that. So you know what's going on. I mean, it, it is what it is. Uh, when I first came up, um, you know, trying to make it to the NHL, it was a lot different than it is nowadays. Um, you know, a guy in my position that was a bigger guy that wasn't a very high draft pick, um, I didn't really have much of a choice but to fight. It was just part of the role I was given, and um, I knew if I wanted to get better as a player, that fighting would keep me in the American League um, long enough that I could devel develop into an NHL player. And then the same thing when I made the NHL, I knew if I fought early on in my career, uh, that it would give me time to develop into an NHL player. And then as my career went on, um, I didn't fight quite as much. But uh, today's game is so much different. There's, there's not a whole lot of fighting anymore. Um, it's all about speed and skill. And, um, you know, everyone always asks me about the fights. But to be honest with you, there's not many guys out there anymore that really want to do it. Yeah, I had one guy in Salzburg that kind of thought about doing it. But, um, you know, I, I didn't want to come to Austria and and be a big bully and come over here and you know beat up guys that have never been in a fight before or know how to fight. Um, you know, I came over here to play hockey and, and live in the, you know, this country and meet some new people and get some new culture in my life. And the game is so much different nowadays that these young kids, you know, they've never had to fight, especially in Europe. So, uh, you know, you don't want to be known as a, as a bully, so to speak, so. <laughs> In Canada, you know, the lifelong dream is everyone wants their, their kid to make the NHL, but realistically, it's, you know, it's one of the hardest things to do. So if they don't enjoy it, if they don't enjoy playing it and, and want to continue to play every single day, you can't force them. Um, you know, to, you got to have the love for the game if you have any chance of making it to the, to the highest level. And secondly, now I would just tell them, you know, you got to conditioning and off ice stuff is so important. Like when I was, you know, growing up at 16 years old, we never even worked out at all. We just played hockey. It's kind of a question you ask yourself as a professional athlete when it's coming to an end. Um, you know, uh, that's why I started doing that radio show in Vancouver. I've, I've always had a, I've always enjoyed doing interviews and working with the media throughout my NHL career and made some good connections. Um, so hopefully that'll work out. As you know, it's starting off right now as a hobby, but eventually someday I was hoping it would turn into, you know, maybe a full time. Uh, you know, job. It's something I enjoy doing. Um, you know, I'm still single, so so right now I, I don't have any kids or a wife or anything like that. But um, maybe someday that will happen. But um, it's definitely one of the things as a professional athlete that um, it's it's not scary, but it's something that you definitely ask yourself. You know, what's next for me um, when I've done something for the last 
you know, 20 years of my life, um, you know, with junior and then turning pro. Um, and now that's going to come to an end. It's, it's definitely something you got to think about and prepare for. I had to deal with, you know, the feeling of no longer playing in the NHL, of, of no longer being known as an NHL player. And I think some guys have trouble with that um, because you're known as an NHL player your whole life. And then all of a sudden, one day they tell you you can't play anymore. I think guys struggle with that. Um, but there's so many other things in the world that I, I want to do and see. Um, you know, hockey's been great to me. I've been very blessed, but uh, when I hang them up, um, I'll be excited for whatever's next in my life.